Greetings to everyone on the Clever Build DIY channel. In this video, we will talk about the pantograph for the cabinet, find out what kind of beast it is, what types there are, how to choose it and what you need to pay attention to in the first place. At the end of the video, we will learn how to install a pantograph in a cabinet with our own hands. When arranging the inner space of the closet for clothes and linen, the upper part of the closet is often not quite accessible and convenient for constant use. The upper shelves become a kind of place for storing unnecessary things, in connection with which the free space of the cabinet is stolen, filled with incomprehensible what and for what. In order to freely use the entire wardrobe space, engineers have invented a useful thing, the pantograph, which helps to fully use the upper part of the wardrobe. The pantograph is a kind of high bar for placing hangers, it can be lowered and returned again if necessary. It is worth noting that in view of its design, it is still better not to use the pantograph for everyday and regular work and place on it things that you use much less often than others, for example, seasonal items or things for special festive occasions. With this attitude, the device will last you much longer. The mechanism of the device responsible for lifting the pantograph can be of three types, oil, gas and electric. Which is the best mechanism? Quite difficult to say. The oil mechanism, as a rule, is designed for a light weight of about 8 kilograms and is cheaper than others. A gas lift, can already cope with a larger weight, and electric ones, are used less often, apparently due to a very high price. When choosing a pantograph for a cabinet, several criteria should be considered. The first is the maximum allowable weight for the pantograph. The lifting mechanism of the pantograph is designed to hold a certain weight, exceeding which, the pantograph will experience an increased load and can arbitrarily drop down. The second criterion is the width of the pantograph. Usually, pantographs have a range of adjustable width. For example, the initial model can be installed in the opening with a range from 545mm to 700mm, the next model from 645 to 910, is it even wider? There are some, they are already in the range from 875 to 1200mm. Installing the pantograph in the cabinet. To install the pantograph in the cabinet, it is necessary to mark its height position. Following the instructions, a gap of at least 30 mm should remain from the top bar to the top shelf of the cabinet. Taking into account the height of the pantograph in this gap, we measure the required distance from the top of the cabinet. Now you need to mark on the walls of the cabinet, the depth of installation of the pantograph. Usually it is 280 to 300 millimeters from the back of the cabinet to the top bar of the pantograph. Here you need to be guided by the depth of the cabinet. Hangers with things hanging on the pantograph bar should not rest against the back wall with their edge and at the same time should not protrude beyond the line of the cabinet doors. Also, for the normal operation of the pantograph, it is worthwhile to provide a place below. Clothes hanging on the pantograph bar, when tilting and moving forward, should not touch the bottom edge of the shelf located under this pantograph. Having thus marked the position of the pantograph on the left and right walls, the pantograph is attached to the walls of the cabinet with self-tapping screws that come with it. Before screwing the self-tapping screws into the cabinet walls, it is important to check how deep they protrude from the pantograph body, since excessively long self-tapping screws can come out of the cabinet wall on the other side. Take this into account and check the length of the screws in advance. After fixing the left and right sides of the pantograph on the inner walls of the cabinet, we install the pre-assembled transverse bar, fasten it to the vertical racks of the pantograph with screws. If you suddenly bought a pantograph with a width range larger than the opening in your closet, it's not scary, you can shorten the bar on your own, more about this will be discussed now. To do this, you need to understand exactly what width of the barbell is needed. In many models, the pantograph tube expands, and if you cannot move it to the desired size, you will have to shorten it. To do this, the inner tube must be cut to the required length.
From the pipe cut, it is necessary to remove the plastic expanding sleeve, for this I used an engraver with a small disc. Having taken out the sleeve from the trim, I insert it into the rod of the rod and flatten the metal pipe from four sides to fix the plastic sleeve in it. Further, it is necessary to shorten the outer tubes of the rod, which are put on it from both sides. Then you can assemble the bar and install it on the pantograph stands. Let me finish with this, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, I wish you all good luck and see you again.